a bright and sunny day out here today. The rain has stopped. Things are drying up. The grass still looks a little damp, but that could be, oops, there we go. But that could be from sprinklers also. So I'm not going to go step in the grass with my socks on. Mm -mm. Nope, not gonna happen. The dogs were all excited to get out here this morning. They were wandering the house at 2.45 this morning. Why? I don't know. Mm -mm. But, of course, I got up and let them all come outside. They didn't bark. They didn't go crazy. They just came outside, hung out for a few minutes, and came back inside. Then again, at 5 o'clock, they woke up and did the same thing. So, yeah. And then we woke up at about six-ish or so, and then they eat at eight. So they're all out here now. There's Freckles rolling around in the grass like he likes to do. Yeah. Why do dogs do that? I'm sure there's something they smell and they want to rub it on themselves. Shake it off, shake it off, Freckles. So, yeah. So, kind of scares me a little bit when they do that though, because I'm here by myself, and when the dogs start wandering around the house and acting like that in the middle of the night, it kind of, you know, makes you wonder, what the heck's going on outside that's making them want to get up and go outside? Kevin did see a skunk out here the other night, so hmm, it kind of makes me nervous, thinking maybe there's a skunk out here and uh, they're going to go chase the skunk and get sprayed. That's all we need. I'll be giving the, bath, the dogs lemon baths. Yeah. So today is just going to be another day of <sighs> doing some more laundry and coloring and watching Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything planned. I don't have a vehicle to go anywhere or do anything, so it's just hanging around the house and um, doing YouTube stuff, coloring, and watching TV. So that's about my day. And uh, of course, playing with all of these guys. Thor! Thor, where you going? What you doing? What you doing, Doodle Bear? Want to go to the moon? Every time you say that, his head tilts. So. Yeah. But that's about it for now, guys. So I'll check back with you guys a little bit later. I can't show you guys what I'm coloring because it's another project. But you guys are all doing great on the colored letter giveaway game. Mm -hmm. You guys are. Keep coming in with those answers so you guys get a chance to win the prize. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. All right, so I'm back in the swing of things here. Today's going to be all about sanding. Uh, I have filled all the holes, or at least most of the holes, I would say. And I have a system, a sanding system here that I have never used. I bought it a long time ago. I don't even know how well it works, but it's basically, as it looks like, I think it's a two-gallon two bucket filled with water, not to the top, but I'm going to um, vacuum with my shop vac, and it's going to deposit all of that dust into the water and hopefully keep the dust down in the, in the house so that I don't have to uh, dust and dust and dust before I paint. That's the plan. Uh, I do know this is a loud system it, since it's, uh, you have to, it all uh, depends on how much air is being uh, allowed through. There's little pockets, little switches to let some air in and out and those whistle like mad. So I'm going to put on some uh, uh, hearing gear so that I don't go deaf and 
Hopefully I'll remember to turn down the volume on the, the video. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> okay, so this is my setup. This is my actual sander. I've got a couple of them. One is for the ceiling and one's for walls. That's just a hand one. This one's for the ceiling uh, and it has a, uh, a place to screw in a, a long pole uh, attached to a bucket by hoses. The uh, hoses go into the water the exit does not go into the water, otherwise you'll just end up sucking up water. And it goes to my shop vac. So I'm gonna probably be adjusting it for a little while, it's because I said it is kind of noisy, and I haven't used this. It's called an aqua filter. So let's see how that works. I'm gonna start on this wall over here. impressed with this thing. Um, first thing I learned is don't try to go so hard. You'll just tire yourself out and it doesn't get off any extra material. So you just uh, have to sand lightly. It comes off pretty well. It isn't any dustier in here than when I started. And if I hadn't been using this system, uh, I'd, I'd be uh, coughing by now. I did bring up a mask just in case, but I don't need it. So I bought this a long time ago, as I said. It's, it's just a bucket with a couple of hoses in it. It's called an aqua filter, sand and clean aqua filter. Made in America, I got it on Amazon. So the only, my only problem with it is the size of the tube doesn't fit any vacuum cleaner. So I had to get one of these universal uh, step up joint things and uh, that's this thing here and uh, got to work using that Kenobi's already outside. Mm -hmm. It's getting close to feeding time, so Kenobi's going to come running in the house. I'm going to come on outside here for a quick minute. Ah, there's a light. There we go. Just wanted to come out and uh, cool off a little. Got to close the door because Simon's getting ready to come bolting out the door and the cats aren't allowed outside. Oh, I haven't done much today. Just did some YouTube stuff and coloring and watching Orange is the New Black. I'm almost done with what, um, almost caught up with what, where they're at. So, I don't know what I'm going to watch after that. I don't know. I'm getting kind of uh, caught up with everything. So... That's going to be kind of interesting when I get caught up to figure out what to watch next. Any suggestions out there from anybody? Hmm? So anyway, I am going to feed the dogs and I'm going to call it a night. So if you like what you've seen, please give us a great big thumbs up, like, a share, comment, all that happy crappy stuff. And we'll see you guys all again tomorrow.